when we turn the corner, she turns to me and is like, listen, he wants me to lie to you, referring to Damon, but I can't. I have to keep it 100. You may not know right where you're going, but I do. Hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is not my normal setup at all but it's actually like one o'clock in the morning and i just got in from a night out and i just decided i have to tell the story time like you guys may already have a clue of what this story time is about based off the title and the thumbnail and all of that type of stuff um but this story has low-key been haunting me and i've been thinking about telling it for a while now and I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to tell it or, you know, because it's like a little embarrassing. Are you embarrassed? It's like personal, it's a little sensitive as well. Um, but I just feel like it's something that needs to be told. And I just hope that me getting this off my chest will hopefully make me stop thinking about it. Anyway. Because, like I said, I feel like this is haunting me. And I'll let you guys know towards the end of the video why I had to sit down and film this today at 1 a.m. after just getting back home from a night out so I'm not gonna ramble too much all I want to say is if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I love you and I appreciate your time and if you are a new subscriber make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out my other story time videos I will link my playlist up above so let's go ahead and get into the story so a couple months ago I had a friend and I'm just going to use fake names for this story for my friend just because I don't think she would mind me telling her name in the story but I didn't ask her so I'm gonna use a fake name just to be safe so let's just call this friend Crystal so I had a friend named Crystal me and Crystal met when we were doing bottle service together because as you guys know if you are a returning subscriber when I moved to Miami I started doing bottle service within my first couple of months here and I met a few friends made a few connections and that was like my primary goal for doing bottle service was to like make friends make connections and just network being in a new city so i met this friend and because we met doing bottle service we would have conversations about like the bottle service industry the nightlife industry that type of thing so one day we're out and she's telling me about this group chat that she's in with this promoter and it's a whole bunch of other girls and basically this promoter would invite them out for a night on the town and everything would be completely free and yeah like this promoter actually also got her on on like a few popular podcasts down here in Miami and so she was just letting me know about it and I thought like wow that's really cool so fast forward maybe two or three months after she first told me about this group chat and this promoter she hits me up and she asked me like what am I going to be doing I think this was actually like a Thursday night so it was a Thursday night she texted me and she was like hey girl like what are you doing tonight so I was like I don't really have any plans um I'm not going to be doing anything while well, what's up so she lets me know that this promoter who was in this group chat let's go ahead and give him a name because he's is actually like a relevant character so let's just call him let's call him Damon okay so the promoter's name is Damon so she lets me know that Damon has invited her and some of the other girls in the group chat for a night out and they're going to be going to this really popular club the club is called Mr. Jones Miami now this is the only thing that doesn't have a fake name because anybody affiliated with Mr. Jones if you're seeing this fuck you okay suck my dick so the club is called Mr. Jones and I had heard about Mr. Jones because it's a really popular club on South Beach. South Beach is where most of the tourists come when they come to vacation. So like celebrities and stuff like that, when they come to different clubs and events, a lot of the times they go to clubs that are on South Beach. But these South Beach is very disconnected from like real Miami culture. Like the longer that I've been here, the more that I realize that South Beach is really like just a touristy area. There isn't a lot of people who like are native to Miami that like choose to actively go to South Beach to party. But anyway, she tells me that they're going to be partying at Mr. Jones and she tells me that it's a possibility that it's going to be some celebrities there and that the last time she got invited out, Future was there, but she couldn't go out. So she was really excited to be able to go out this time and hopes to like catch a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, have a good time. So I'm super excited. I'm like, yeah, girl, like I've heard about Mr. Jones. Like I've heard that it's like extremely expensive to get in, you know, extremely expensive sections, all of that type of stuff. So I'm going to make sure that I'm like dressed to the tents. She was like, yes, you know, 
beat your face, like, you know, come correct. Let's go. I'm like, okay, you ain't saying nothing but a word. I was like really taking my time with getting ready, getting dressed, because honestly, I don't really go out a lot. So whenever I get the opportunity to like get dressed up and dolled up, like I absolutely love it. So I took my time. I beat my face down, okay? Hair was laid and slayed, like flowing, okay? And I had on one of my favorite favorite black dresses i'm actually gonna put a picture of me in the dress that i wore to the club over here on the side so you guys can see this is like my go-to dress when i just like can i get a wall whoa can i get another wall whoa give me another one whoa call the ambulance whoa, 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 whoa. you know what i'm saying i just want to feel like that girl like i don't know what it is about this dress i just love this dress anyway so i'm feeling very confident very like just ready to have a good time my friend pulls up on me and i hop in and we start heading towards south beach now ironically this friend is not from miami either like if you guys don't know like if you've never came across my channel before i'm not from miami i'm actually originally from north carolina before i moved to miami i lived in virginia and then i moved down here and this friend is from indianapolis so we were having conversations just about the culture of being in miami and how it's really a culture shock because a lot of the things that you see you know a lot of the people that you meet like it's so many what's the word fake shit it's a lot of facades that's the word i was looking for it's a lot of facades you know people make it seem like they have money and they don't have money people make it seem like they have all these things and they don't have all these things like people are scamming lying cheating police right there. doing whatever to create this facade of miami life so ironically enough that's the conversation that we were having as we were driving to the venue and we were just also talking about how sometimes it doesn't feel like real life like miami feels like a sims game Game almost because it just seems like people are to a degree disconnected from reality because of the pressure to keep up a certain aesthetic or like a certain lifestyle so anyway we're having that conversation and we were actually so into our conversation that we ended up staying in the car a little bit longer once we arrived but after we noticed that it was time for us to meet the promoter damon we decided to get out the car and start walking towards the club so we parked about a block over from the club and this is like low-key important so that's what i'm telling you we parked like a block over from the from the club and it was like a little turn like you couldn't see the club on the street that we were parked on you had to like turn down another street in order to see the club so we begin walking towards the club we turn and we see damon standing outside of the club as well as like the security guards but there aren't really any other girls there yet so once we pull up um crystal introduces me to damon hey it's just like hey this is my friend Jalen blah 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 and Damon kind of starts to like look me up and down but I couldn't really tell what type of look it was well maybe it's just because you're ugly it's like I really just could not read him like most of the time I'm very like good at reading people's emotions and reading people's like faces and their body language but I honestly could not tell if he was like looking me up and down from a place of interest or Woo! from a place of like skepticism or like critique you feel me like but all I do know is that it made me slightly uncomfortable so you know he's kind of looking me up and down or whatever and we shake hands and everything and he introduces himself slowly but surely other people start pulling up to the venue now after a while after about 10 more girls have arrived at the venue i started to take note that me and crystal are literally the only black girls at the like in the group of women at this point that's suspicious and for me i'm used to being the only black girl like at different functions and places because North Carolina that's the story of my life like being the odd black girl out or whatever or like go, growing up in honors classes and stuff like that I'm used to that but I also you know it also makes me give a little side eye so I'm kind of like looking at Crystal and I'm like you know you peep when I peep and she kind of looking at me like girl I peep what you peep so we just peeping and after like we kind of like exchange looks or whatever um 
I noticed that there is this guy who's honestly like walking back and forth in front of the club and I ain't gonna lie y'all I'm not even trying to be funny I really thought he was just like a bum like a homeless guy or whatever like he didn't look like dirty or disheveled or anything but there's like so many so many homeless people here and like the way he was just kind of walking and pacing back and forth I just thought he just was a homeless person until I noticed that the set of girls who had arrived after us started like flocking to him now mind you guys like if i'm here the guy is here like he's walking like this right so he kind of like stops right behind me and when he stops right behind me the group of girls they all like run over to him and they're like oh my god like it's mr jones himself <laughs> and i was like what does that mean i literally had no idea who mr jones was i thought it was just the name of the club i didn't know it was actually named after somebody so they're like it's mr jones himself and they like surround him in a circle and i ain't trying to be no hater but it was just a bunch of thirsty shit like i hate thirsty i hate feeling thirsty like i hate bird behavior period like so i kind of felt a little uncomfortable because literally like i'm like right outside their little circle of surrounding him and like you know what i'm saying they're like showering him with compliments and lust. So I kind of like stepped to the side a little bit just because like it was just a tad bit awkward for me and I didn't know who this guy was. But he was kind of looking around and like we had made eye contact a few times. I could tell that he expected me to kind of like join the crowd if that makes sense. But I didn't know who he was like I didn't find out who he was till way way after this night so anyway like I kind of step off to the side and like after a while Damon comes up to Crystal and he asks her can he pour to the side and talk to her for a minute now at this point there are a few other girls that have arrived at the venue there is a couple of Hispanic girls and then there's more um white girls but crystal and i were still the only two black girls so when the hispanic girls get there they kind of walk up to me and like i smile at them because i just smile at everybody like when i first see them i just feel like it's polite so i smile at them and so they start talking to me and that they're telling me that they think i'm really pretty and i start telling them i think they're really pretty you know how us girls do like oh my god girl oh my god oh my god oh my god so <laughs> I just like kind of start talking to them while Crystal is off kind of talking to Damon. I'm having a really good conversation with the Hispanic girls and there's actually another promoter who comes up and we just start talking. They're asking me where I'm from. Like I'm telling them I'm from North Carolina. Everybody just kept asking me questions about like where I was from, you know, my accent, like if I had a boyfriend, all this type of stuff. So we're just talking, talking and talking. But out of the corner of my eye, like I'm peeping Damon and Crystal have these conversations because they've walked off kind of far. Now, like I told y'all, like I'm really good at reading body language and reading people's like energy and vibe. So I already knew they were talking about me. Like I didn't know what they were saying, but I knew that they were talking about me just because Damon would kind of like look up at me. And if we made eye contact, he would like look away really fast. For what? Why not? <laughs> and like Crystal's body language was completely like defensive and so i just knew that something wasn't right you know but i didn't know what and i didn't really want to dwell on it too much because i'm not gonna lie to y'all i have been feeling really self-conscious about like my body about like my looks all of those things ever since i moved to miami to be honest and when i first peeped damon like look at me up and down i had an idea of like oh my gosh what if he do he doesn't think that i'm like attractive enough to come into this club but i instantly kind of like shot that down because i'm like bro like you know that you're beautiful like you know you're pretty like why do you keep doing this to yourself and i almost like started like beating myself up because i'm like girl like why do you feel that way like you you need to let go of these limiting beliefs and these like insecurities and stop projecting them on other people because that's probably not even what's happening so i'm telling myself that i'm like you need to stop projecting like focus on the conversation at hand be present in the moment and just like enjoy this moment so in doing that, I just really focus in on the conversation that I'm having. And, you know, we're all, like, laughing, giggling. It was just, like, a good little fun time. 
Well, Damien and Crystal walk back towards the group as we're talking. And when they walk back towards the group, I'm still actually talking at the moment. So, like, I'm, like, talking to the other people, getting to know them, getting to know what they do, all of that type of stuff. And I'm, like, really engaged in the conversation. And all of a sudden, my friend Crystal is like, I'm about to go to the car. And she said it with such, like, force and energy that it really, like, broke up the conversation because it's like, Hold on, like, something's not right. So, I, like, kind of look over to her because I thought maybe she had forgot something in the car. Maybe she, like, needed... I don't know what I was thinking, but the, the way that she said it made me realize, like, okay, let me make sure she's good. So, I was like, you know, are you good? Like, do you need me to, like, come with you? She was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, like... So, we started walking off. I, I actually turned and told the people, like... Okay, guys, like, we'll be right back, you know, trying to be polite. So, we walk off, and as we walk off, I'm like, hey, like, Crystal, what happened? Like, are you okay? Are you good? What did he say to you? Like, did he say something that made you mad? And she's not saying anything. Like, she just looks like she's fuming inside. Like, so I'm like, okay. However, mind you that my friend Crystal is, like, a little bit of a hothead. Like, girl, if you're watching this, just know I love you. I love you. I love you. But you know, you're a little bit of a hothead, okay? She's a little bit of a hothead. So I really didn't know. I didn't know what was happening. Like, you know, I he could have said something that pissed her off. Or like, I don't know. I really didn't know what was happening. And because she wasn't responding, I was like, okay, let me give her her space. Let me like back up, you know what I'm saying? And wait for her to just tell me. So remember I told you guys we were parked on like a separate street from the club. You had to turn a corner in order to get to where we parked. So we turned the corner towards our car. And when we turn the corner, she turns to me and is like, listen, he wants me to lie to you, referring to Damon, but I can't. I have to keep it 100. So my friend tells me, you know, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. Damon wanted me to tell you that the club wanted us to pay to get in and that we weren't trying to pay and so that we would just leave. But the truth is they don't want to let you in because of your weight. And I was like, huh? What? Oh, <laughs> friend is telling me you know I'm really pissed off I did not know that they were like this I had no idea that you know this is the type of stuff that was going down I would have never invited you out here if I would have known that they would have been on this like I just hate this like, I feel so bad as your friend he's telling me that it wasn't Damon's decision and honestly at the time I didn't know if she was just trying to like you know what I'm saying make it seem better for him or if he was like if he really told her that and he was just lying, but she told me that it wasn't Damon's decision and that according to her, he told her like, she's actually the type of girl that I like, like that's the type of girl I would go for. But I didn't know if she was just saying those things to kind of like soften the blow of what was being said, you know what I'm saying? So she said that and she said that Damon, the reason that I couldn't go in is because one of the managers had came outside and they specifically said that I couldn't come in. And he had offered to pay the security guard a hundred dollars to let me in, but because the manager was right there, like they weren't going for it, it wasn't accepting it, blah blah blah. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like taking it in, and she's just apologizing profusely. And I was like, no, like, stop apologizing. This is not your fault. This is not a reflection of you. Like, you could not have known that this is what was gonna happen. And I was just like, you know, I would be lying if I said that this is the first time that somebody has, like, made a comment, like, about my weight or whatever. Um, and as I started to say that, like, I started tearing up a little bit. Like, I started losing my gangsta. And then she started crying. So now we're, like, literally standing in the middle of the street crying, like, together. And I'm telling her, like, go back. Have a good time. Like, you were super excited to come out here. Like, my boyfriend works on South Beach. So I can just, like, chill with him until, like, we're ready to, you're ready to go. And she's like, no, I'm not going in there. Like, I'm not hanging out with them. I came to hang out with you. Um, yeah. And so that was pretty much that like for that night um my boyfriend ended up coming to pick us up 
because he was working on South Beach and he ended up taking us to another club and we like went to another club and I just really really tried to keep the vibes high because I knew that my friend already felt bad and I just didn't want to make her like feel worse I didn't want to show her how I was feeling inside but if I could be so honest like I was so so hurt like that was probably in the top three of one of the most hurtful things that has ever happened to me because like I had spent all this time getting ready expecting to have a good night you know expecting to just chill with my friend and you know just have some good vibes and I was just not prepared like to be turned away because of my weight you feel me and like everybody has their own personal scale of like attractiveness of like thinness you know what I'm saying of course everybody has those things that they would like change about their body like everybody has like little insecurities here and there you feel me like I'm just like the next girl if I could have a flatter stomach if I could have a six-pack abs and I would you feel me but for the most part I am happy with my shape even when I wasn't feeling secure like about my body like I know that my feelings are separated from the fact that I am considered attractive I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm attractive I know what happens when I go outside the house I know how much I get approached you know what I'm saying I worked in nightlife like I know that my body it may not be the ideal body to everybody but I know that for the most part like I have a body type that will be considered attractive you feel me so even when I have those insecurities of wishing that I had like a smaller waist or wishing that you know I was just like a little slimmer like I'm constantly like reinforced in the real world of like you're beautiful like you know what I'm saying like people want to look like this you feel me this is editing Jalen here I just wanted to pop in to provide some clarification because I don't want this to sound hypocritical um and I wanted to make sense like what I'm saying is that I know that there are people a lot of people out there that would consider my body type attractive you feel me but that doesn't negate the body image issues that I have had growing up we all know that like the early 2000s was a shit show when it comes to like body shaming especially if you watch like America's Next Top Model or you were just interested in like the fashion industry at all so I'll insert some pictures of me from like middle school and high school and stuff like that but I just remember like as early as third grade always feeling like I was big and I was like fat or whatever and just constantly struggling with my body image because not only was that something that we saw a lot in the media but that was also something that you know people in my household dealt with and they were struggling with and it just trickled down to me from a very young age so that's what I mean I don't want it to sound like contradicting by me acknowledging that I know that I have a attractive body type and also saying that I suffer from body image issues especially with like all the BBLs and stuff like that. Like I'm a naturally thick girl. Like I'm gonna put my some pictures on my Instagram because I don't feel like standing up right now. But I'm a naturally thick girl. Most of my weight is in my chest and in the back, okay? And people are literally going to the doctor to get surgery to look this way. And this is just what God gave me. But in saying that, God also gave me a little tummy, okay? He also gave me like a little arm. You feel me? Like, it's, I'm not like, I don't look like a slim girl with just boobs and butt. And in Miami, that's the look that's down here. Like, there's slim girls who just get the additions, you feel me, who just get the, the boobs and the butt added to them. And then it's like, that's expected to be the norm for a thick girl. Like, if you're a thick girl, you're supposed to be skinny everywhere else. When it's like, that's just not real life. That's just not what real bodies look like, you feel me? So, to have that experience, like, I've heard people, people have made comments about my weight on the internet people made comments about my weight you know back in like middle school and stuff like that but to completely be denied entry from somewhere because it's like i'm not good enough or i'm not attractive enough or fit enough that shit cut me so deep and i just could not show her that night so when i woke up the next morning i was still very much in that energy from the night before and 
it really sent me into a depression. Like, I just started hearing all of these negative voices in my head, like, just telling me, like, you big, fat, sloppy bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants you around. Like, you can't hang out with your friends because, like, you're the, you're the fat friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just started hearing, like, all of these negative self-thoughts that I try to, like, push away had just been all brought to the forefront at once. And I was fucking losing it. Like, literally, I was losing it. Like, that day, I'm not going to tell you guys everything that happened that day because that's low-key, like, another story for another day. And it's kind of embarrassing as well. But that day, I didn't eat at all because I just felt, like, disgusted by food. And I just felt, like, disgusted any time that I would even, like, put food near my mouth. And, but one of my other friends had already invited me out that night for her birthday and this was prior to my friend crystal inviting me out the night before so i felt obligated to still go out with this friend and so that night i went out and i really was not feeling it so i didn't do my makeup and everything like i just showed up like here i am take me as i am um and my friends actually brought it up like they were like oh like you know why didn't you wear makeup today like you normally like you know what i'm saying and i just told them about the night before and long story short my friend whose birthday it was she ended up telling me that she had a very similar experience when she went to mr jones but the difference was they told her no more black girls yeah you heard me correctly they said no more black girls so once she told me that, it made me feel like, I guess, a little bit better because it's like, okay, y'all are just shitty people. You know what I'm saying? It's not really like as much of a reflection on me. Like, y'all are just shitty individuals. But not a lot. It didn't really help a lot. Like, um, so that night I had had a few drinks and I came home like blacked out like blacked out and all of those true emotions just were spilling out of like you know i'm not worthy of love like i'm not okay i want to go home like i don't look like these girls i don't fit in with these girls like i do often have that feeling of being different when i go out you know feeling like i don't look like everyone else. even my hairstyle today like as you guys see, I got, like, the soft locks, like, the long dreads or whatever. When I go out, everybody has, like, bust-down middle parts, baby hair sleek. Do you feel me? Like, colorful wigs, like, all of that stuff. Like, and most of the time when I go places, I'm, like, the only one that has, like, a more natural hairstyle, I guess you could say. Like, because I'm just not really into the wigs. And it's not no shade. It's just if I knew how to lay my wig good, like, I would definitely have a wig. But I just literally don't know how to lay it that great. So I just like stick to the styles that I know. And these are just the styles that I know. Like I typically have my hair in braids or in like locks like this. Like I love a good lock look. So I have locks a lot. Sometimes I have my natural hair out in like a puff. You feel me? But it's just different. I feel like I always stand out, you know, when I'm down here and when I go out. And it just takes a toll on you. Like it just takes a toll on you so anyway that is what happened but let me go ahead and tell you guys what happened tonight which made me feel like i had to come tell this story and like get it off my chest so my friend crystal invited me out again and there was like this party tonight that she was gonna be actually working at so she asked me and one of my other friends to come out so we decided to go out and when we got to the event we were getting introduced to some of the promoters for that particular event and one of the promoters was the exact same promoter damon from that night so when i see him like instantly i kind of like got a rush of those feelings back because when i tell y'all like this has really been haunting me like ever since it happened like sometimes when i be working out because i do work out and i do eat healthy like but when I work out, like, I will hear it in the back of my mind, like, you know, oh, like, you're too big to get in this club. You know what I'm saying? Like, just re-renditions of 
what was said just like playing in the back of my mind and I would like actively tell myself like stop listening to that stop doing that you know what I'm saying stop letting that like make a, a impact on you and I just try to like brush it off but it is something that just like still comes up and I know that it's gonna take time for me to like fully let that situation go and like heal and grow because one thing about it I don't want to be a victim of any situation which is why it was hard for me to come up here and tell this story time because it's like I didn't know how to tell it without defending my body or without like feeling like a victim you know what I'm saying and expressing how much it hurt me without it seeming like I wanted pity you know because I don't like I don't I don't but anyway he came in and me and my friend were sitting at the bar and so when Crystal saw him, he was like, Damon, do you remember my friend Jalen? And um, he didn't say whether or not he remembered me or not, but he like spoke to me and my other friend at the bar and I spoke back. Um, and then he just kind of like lingered like around us and it was awkward because I didn't know if he was gonna like say something about the situation because it kind of seemed like he wanted to if he does remember who I am, it seemed like he wanted to like keep speaking or talk about something, but he didn't. And so I was just like, okay. So when it, when I see him, the feeling started rushing back and I instantly became insecure. Like, you know, I just like kind of looked around and I started noticing that everybody else was very thin at the party. And I noticed that all of the girls that he had brought with him was very thin. Um, and both of my friends are very thin. So it just like started making me like really self-conscious in the middle of the party. And I'm like, oh my God, like I almost felt like I was about to have an anxiety attack, honestly. But I just like kept focusing on my breathing and trying to like stay present in the moment again. And just realizing that like, this is my world. I live in my own reality. Like everybody lives in their own reality. And something that has helped me to get through this situation is just telling myself, like, this is your reality, this is your world, and you can be the baddest bitch in your world. You feel me? Like, I don't need anybody else to validate me or to agree to with my reality. Like, that can be my reality if that's what I choose. So I just started telling myself affirmations and, like, you know, trying to come back in the moment or whatever. And ironically enough, once me and my friend got up from the bar, like, so many guys started coming up to me telling me that I look so good and all this stuff and that they really like my outfit, they really like my hair, blah, 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 blah. So me and my friend, we were sitting at the bar outside. So we go inside. And once I go inside, I see Damon. And he walks up to me and he like says something about it and hear him. So I was like, what did you say? And he was like, I love your hair. I just wanted to say that I love your hair. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like, but I like walked away really fast because like, like I said, like just seeing him kind of trigger me. And if what my friend said was true, that it wasn't his decision, you know what I'm saying? Which after tonight, I can't believe, um, then I feel bad. But it's just like, he was just the only face that I saw. You feel me? So, um, I like walk away, you know, me and my friend, we kind of like sit down, go in our own little corner, like just bob to the music and Damon comes up to me and my friend again. And it's like, why are the two most beautiful ladies in here sitting down? And I almost said like, oh, I'm beautiful today. Like I almost like went there, but before I could say anything, he was like, you know, I'm going to come back and check on y'all in a few and when he left i told my friend like what had happened because i guess she had saw my face of like how it was like so ironic like oh tonight i'm like one of the most beautiful ladies in the club but a couple months ago like i couldn't get in the club oh okay like okay okay so i told my friend what happened she's like completely flabbergasted she's like what the fuck like really like and i was like yeah like it really happened like real life like um but yeah, like we ended up leaving shortly after that, but that's what happened. And honestly, like, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I don't know what to say. I, don't, I wanted this story to actually have some type of like morale, some type of like point. But if I'm being honest, like I really can't think of one. Like, I just have to tell you guys my thoughts because that's just something that happened something like this has never happened to me before you feel me um 
And it sucks because it came on the back of like all of this red pill content and shit that's on the internet. You know, I, I feed in, I watch the like um, male podcast, I watch the female femininity content, you know, and so much of that content recently, I don't know if this is a trend or what, but just has been focused on weight and it's been really triggering because it's like I'll listen to this content and I'll try to take it in the information for better but sometimes it really just comes from a mean spirited place like it's a difference between trying to push health and wellness to people with because that's something that I'm all about like if you guys have been on my channel y'all know that's something that's important to me like I was vegan for two years I went on a weight loss journey like and I feel like that too also is why it hurts so bad because I know that like I'm a healthy individual, you feel me? I know that I'm somebody that takes care of myself and I know that I'm somebody that has the habits in place in order to have the type of body that I want. But it's just been circumstances of the past couple of years that have like led me to gain a little weight, you know what I'm saying? Like and but I don't feel like I should be judged for that. I don't feel like I should not be able to, like, go into the type of club that I want to just because of my size. Like, and again, like, I really didn't know how to position this video because I didn't want to make it seem like I was defending my body or it's like, oh, I'm not that big or whatever the case may be. Because honestly, it doesn't matter, like, what size you are. Like, nobody should be discriminated against at a club you feel me like it's one thing like okay maybe you don't want to let me in for free but like damn like you just not gonna let me in at all and long story short too the reason i brought up the guy that like all the girls were surrounding and talking to come to find out that mr jones is a football player and the club is named after him and i'm assuming that's the guy that was outside and i'm also willing to bet that he was the one that didn't want me to come in because he was the only one that I saw outside that could have been the manager. And I could also be willing to bet that part of that was because he probably thought like, oh, who does this girl think she is? Like, she thinks that she's too good to like come up to me and talk to me or whatever. Because like I said, I got really uncomfortable. <laughs> like all the girls were like surrounding him and stuff. So I kind of stepped to the side, like to just kind of like make room. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was something that played into it as well. Um, but long story short, this is something that has happened. It's one of the, it's one of the few reasons why, um, Miami rubs me the wrong way sometimes, but I'm not going to let that be the defining moment for my experience, but I did want to tell this because when I looked up Mr. Jones on YouTube, I didn't see anybody talking about this and I know for a fact that this has happened to more people and I will never patronize this business. Like, I don't care what the hell happens. I don't care like, if I do lose weight and do slim down and become to you all standard of beauty, like, I will never patronize you guys' business for the pure strength of that. And because y'all also said no black girls, like, yeah, okay. Miami is very colorist and it's very, like, aesthetic based. And I just don't vibe with that. I don't fuck with that at all. And I just hope that moving forward, like... If anybody watching this has ever been in a situation like this, I just want you to know that I know that shit hurts. And anybody that tries to tell you like that you can't be hurt over a situation like that, it's probably because they haven't been in that situation. It's okay to be hurt. It's okay to cry because believe me, I cried. Like I cried so much because of that situation about how bad it hurt me and how much it hurt my feelings. But you know what I did after I cried? I got myself together and I said, I'm not going to be a victim of these circumstances. I've been working out four times a week ever since that happened. Not because I feel like I have anything to prove to them, but because I don't want to be in a situation where my body can determine where I do and do have, where I do and do not have access to. You feel me? Like Granted, I wouldn't even want to be in an environment where that's a discriminating factor, but I just don't even want it to be something that can come up because, like I said, guys, that was just some really hurtful shit, and I just never want to go through anything like that ever again. So, this is my story. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, <laughs> but this is my story, and if you have comments about it, you can just leave it down below. Um yeah that's pretty much it like i said if somebody from mr jones is watching this fuck y'all um and if you try to act like this didn't happen i will literally go get my home girl and i will get my other home girl who went there on a different night and said that y'all didn't let black girls in and we can all do a story time together okay but yeah that's that i hope that you guys 
enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video or at least gained something from it. Um, if you did, please give it a like and comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.